Well, hey YouTube, so today guys, we're back here with another review, and this is going to be the last tennis review I make for a while. So let's make it end on a good point. So this is the Wilson V-Matrix Energy XL Stop Shock Sleeves Tennis Racket. So this is probably the highest quality one I, that I, I don't actually own this, this is my uh, family's racket, you know. But, you know, I've had the opportunity to try it out recently, and this is probably the best one of, of the bunch. You know, I had the uh, Pro Kinetics, I had more of the Wilson entry-level device, and this is probably more of a mid-level. So this is, I don't know what material this is made from. It, to me, it feels like it's a, it's, a, it's a carbon or a titanium. It could simply be aluminum, but it's definitely lighter than my other aluminum racket over there. So I'm going to have to assume it's uh, something different, you know. So yeah, it, it, this is more of a power device, power racket, so um, yeah, I'm going to test it out like I test out any old racket, guys. So I have my ball here, I'm going to stand up and we're going to get the testing under the way here. So I have a couple other rackets that, we, we have, that we've tested recently, I do want to compare those two to this one. So in terms of weight, this is definitely in the middle. It's heavier than that Wilson one I reviewed first, it's lighter, I mean not bad, it's not, it's not yeah, I mixed it up. I'm very sorry about that. So this weighs less than the cheapo Wilson one that you find anywhere. But it does weigh more than the titanium one because titanium is extremely expensive. And yeah, it's very efficient for that reason, you know. And this is probably um, aluminum. I mean, I said carbon, but it could, maybe it's carbon fiber. But, you know, whatever it is, it's slightly heavier than the uh, titanium one. So we're, we're, I'm going to do a couple of tricks here. I want to see how it compares to my other rackets. You know, I'll be honest with you. The, you really, in terms of differences between all the different rackets I'm uh, reviewing on this channel, I'll be honest with you, there's not a significant difference between all of them. Just uh, a weight difference and maybe the shape. And the, obviously the branding on here is different. But other than that, there's not much here. I'm going to take off my uh, headset here. So the first thing I want to do is a simple reverse uh, self rally trick. So this is probably the easiest thing you can do, I, at least for me. It's not that easy. It takes time to get used to this because like you got to constantly move, constantly. But yeah, it's pretty smooth. I'm I'm getting good uh good numbers here. So I do I do want to see how long I can go without crashing or anything. So yeah, that, that, that's that's pretty good, right? You know, that's pretty good. But, you know, we got we got more tricks, guys. You know, I want to do I want to do like the Roger Federer yeah, like that. This is a trick he does in the game, particularly when he's kicking ass and the game's almost over. I do see Roger do that trick, so I do want to try it out for myself here. And like that, guys, that trick is mastered. Obviously, doing this in a real game is a different experience but I'm happy I was able to show it to you now. So the trick I've been having the most trouble with, see this this could tell you if this is a higher quality racket or not. If I could do behind the back and actually continue a rally, that probably means this is a better racket because I was only able to do that with the other two. So let's go here. Gonna self rally with myself for a bit here to get warmed up here. And oh boy, that hit my fan so that was kinda cheap. Uh, Try that again. I'm not gonna waste too much time. Just kind of, I'm gonna jump right into the uh, the news here. <laughs> not the news, but damn it. I'm just gonna start from here because it, it's not it's not an easy trick. It's not supposed to be easy, you know. Damn it. See, I have to use more power, you know. Oh, oh shit! I did it. You see that? See, I, hopefully, you guys saw that. But I actually was able to uh, hit it behind my back and actually continue the rally. Let me try it again, because I, I, maybe you guys missed that. I just want to do it again. Like that. So yeah, I did that trick. So I'm happy I was able to do that trick. So this, this is definitely a, a solid uh, racket here, indeed. Here. I do want to see if I can pick up the ball off the ground here. With you, with... So the ball is on the ground. Let's see if I can just pick it up with my racket like this. Oh, close. Very close. Very close. Yeah, I can't do that. So I still can't do that trick, but you know, it's uh, it's okay. You know, it's okay. We did most of it. So, yeah, overall, guys. So this is the third tennis racket I reviewed recently, 
and I do like them all. I do like them all. So in terms of weight, this is the middle of the line, but this definitely probably has more power than the other ones. But yeah, I, I like I like this one. I like all three of them. So yeah, guys, if you want to buy this thing, um, Amazon link will be down below. This is the uh, Wilson uh, uh, Energy XL, and there's a V Matrix. It's called yeah V Matrix. Amazon link will be down below. Make sure you guys subscribe and like for daily news and reviews. And make sure you put on notification bell as well. And check out peterbosonline.com for reviews, news, gameplay, and some other great stuff on there as well. So yeah, thank you guys and bye.